the next set of tests are just going to be some questions and some things that we're going to do. And again, we're looking, and, and with these, to look at certain functions as far as um, the brain and particularly how the, the hemispheres of the brain work, the super hemispheres. So we're going to start off, I'm going to ask you to remember three um, objects. The first object would be a red rose, a blue car, and the third object would be a basketball. So what are those three objects? A red rose, a blue car, and a basketball. Very good. What month is it? June. And what date? 27th. And what day of the week? Wednesday. And uh, where, you look, where, where are you right now? At University Hospital. Very good. Um, what did you have for dinner last night? Teriyaki chicken and rice. Okay. Can you start at the current president and start naming the presidents back to or the last five presidents of the United States? Pres of the United States. Um, George W. Bush, Bill Clinton, George Bush, Ronald Reagan, and Jimmy Carter. Okay. Um, and now, can you remember the three things I asked you to remember? A red rose, a blue car, and a basketball. Very good. I want you to uh, repeat back to me the numbers that I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you a list of numbers. I want you to give them back to me. Um, the numbers would be 5, 2, 9, 6, 8, 2. 5, 2, 9, 6, 8, 2. Very good. Can you spell the word world backwards? D-L-R-O-W. And can you start with the month of September and, and start naming the months backwards to the beginning of the year? September, August, July, June, May, April, March, February, January. Very good. Yeah. If you were going, if, if you were at home and you saw a you know, neighbor's house on fire, what would you do? Call 911 and then try and get them out. Okay. Go knock on the door. Okay. I'm going to ask you to tell me how these two objects or two things I'm going to give you are alike. Uh, an apple and an orange. They're fruits. Okay. A doctor and a nurse. Medical people. A desk and a bookcase. Furniture. Happy and sad. Emotions. Very good. People have sayings like little proverbs um, that have a certain meaning. Um, can you tell me the meaning of this particular proverb? Uh, people who live in glass houses should not throw stones. Um, it means that if you offend other people, that you could also be offended if you're willing to offend other people. Okay. What would um, a rolling stone gathers no moss? Um, if you, a person who's doing a lot of things doesn't get out of date or um, just by being active you stay sharp and Okay, very clear. Exact. I'm going to give you a list of, I'm, I'm actually going to give you a letter of the alphabet and then time you. Um, and we could go up to a minute but I may stop sooner than that. And I want you to give me as many words as you can think of that start with that particular letter but are not proper names. In other words, don't start with a capital uh, for that particular letter. So I'm going to go ahead and start, and I want you to, um, when I give that letter, just start as far as what words you can think of. And the letter is the letter S. Go ahead. Silly, slam, um, soft, sad, sorry, slippery, slide, uh, start, solution, solve, simple, silly, I say that? I said that. Um, That's okay, uh, that's stuff. Uh, normal would be to be able to give at least uh, 10 in a minute's time, and we stopped you far short of a minute, so you're doing fine. Um, I'm now going to um, ask you to follow some directions, and I'm going to ask you to Take this piece of paper, fold it in half. No, wait a minute. Let me give you all the instructions. Take the piece of paper, fold it in half, take it in your left hand, 
and then give it and place it or give it to me and place it in my right hand. So go ahead. Very good. Now what I want you to do is that I want you to um, to read what this sentence says and to do it. You don't have to read it out loud. Just do it. Very good. And the sentence said, close your eyes, and you did it correctly. Very good. I'm going to show you this picture, and I want you to just look at it and tell me what you think that picture depicts. This looks like a mother and her son, and they're playing together, and she's giving him a piggyback ride, and they're laughing and having a fun time together. Very good. Now what I want you to do is to write oh, a sentence about that picture. She wrote, a mother and a son are playing together. What I'd like you to do now is to just read this uh, paragraph. We're going to put your reading glasses on. That's fine. And just start right here and just go ahead and read until I tell you to stop. When people feel ordinary anxiety, they are usually thinking about something bad that has happened or could happen. Those thoughts seem to offer reason enough for the anxiety, but sometimes nervousness lasts a long time becomes overwhelming, or starts to affect daily activities and relationships. At that point, it's time to think about whether an anxiety disorder is part of the cause. Okay, very good. So what is what was this paragraph about that you read? Anxiety. Okay. And what are the, some of the things that uh, would indicate that there's a problem with anxiety? If things that you're worried about interrupt your daily activities or your relationships with people. Very good. What is this? A pen. And what do you do with it? Write. Good. What is this? A watch. And good. And what's this part of the watch? A stem. Very good. What would this be? A ring. Very good. And what would um, this be? A tie. Good. Can you uh, repeat this sentence to me, or for me? No ifs, ands, or buts. No ifs, ands, or buts. Very good. We're now going to have you do some... Um, or imitate some actions. I'm going to describe what I want you to do, and I want you to imitate them as if you were actually going to do them. Um, and we're going to start with having you uh, pretend that you are sucking on a straw. Good. And um, pretend like you're blowing a kiss. Okay. I want you now to uh, pretend like you're opening a door with a key. And pretend like you are cutting with scissors. Very good. I have uh, some objects that um, I'm going to put in your hand, and I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to tell me what those objects are. Okay? So we're going to do that right now. Close your eyes. Mm, a penny. Good. It's a penny. Keep your eyes closed. Be another object. Pen cap. Very good. And we're just going to test the other side. A key. Good. And then one more object. A dime. Good. I am going to write some numbers in your palm. And this would be the like the number eight or the number nine. I want you to close your eyes and tell me what number I'm writing. Nine. Good. Seven. Good. You do the same thing over here. Eight. Good. And um, zero. Close. Let me do it again. Six. Very good. All right. 
I want you to take your left thumb and place it on your right elbow. Good. I want you to take your, uh, the fifth finger on your right hand and place it on your left wrist. Very good. Okay. Um, which is my right hand? Good. And what would we call this finger? Pointer. Good. And how about this finger? Ring finger. Good. Um, I want you to start at 7. Uh, oh, well, start at 100 and subtract 7. And just keep subtra subtracting from each new number that you come up with. And I'm going to just go ahead and stop you after you go after several. 193, 86, 79, 72, 65. And that's fine. That's good. Okay. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to draw a clock. And then put all the, the, the uh, hours on it. Oh, maybe half a sheet. And then um, have it, have the hands say 20 after 8. Good. And then over here, draw a face. I'm going to draw um, a, a two figures, and I want you to draw them as a, as much alike, or, or very as much similar to what I'm drawing them. Draw right here. Good. I want you to, if you can, to name me the colors of these objects. What color would this be? Green. What about this one? Blue. And what about this one? Yellow. Good. And um, what I'd like you to do is just uh, tell me who you think that is. That's Bill Clinton. Okay. Um, so you can recognize who it is. Mm -hmm. Very good.